Hey guys, it's me the next day. It is June 17th and I'm starting this uh, daily vlog off with making watermelon um, jelly. Because, you know, I had that watermelon and it went all that great. Well, here it is. I'm going to make it into a jelly using gelatin, lemon, Alright, that one's really squishy. Uh. Anyway. Ooh. We got watermelon. This is gelatin. Lemon and sweetener. Uh, you can use sugar or any other substitute, sweetener or sugar substitute. I got this from Target just because it was cheaper and I wanted granulated, granular sweetener and this works fine. So anything that makes it sweet, it's up to you. The watermelon should be pretty sweet so you shouldn't need a lot, but probably like uh, two tablespoons. So we'll do a lot of the watermelon, tablespoon of the gelatin, about a, a teaspoon of lemon uh, juice, and then about a couple tablespoons of the sweetener. All right, let's get it going. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is add our watermelon to the pot. Oh, I don't turn on yet. to squish and that's good for now. Now we're going to turn it on to medium. Now we're gonna get this going first before we add the gelatin or the sweetener. And uh, I used to have a um, mashed potato masher, but forks will work too. Okay, what I totally did without showing all was I strained the watermelon. So now I have watermelon, water, juice, water. Now I'm gonna cook that in here. Turn this on, pour it back in here. Might even add a little bit of this juice, cause. Sydney, this is Sydney's food. Okay, we'll see if she'll eat some of it. Move, move. It's just more like juice rather than. Okay, now then, that looks good. I'm gonna let this cook, cause it already has lemon juice in it. And lemon juice is just to add some tartness. It didn't really do much. We're gonna let this come to a boil. It's still cooking. Cooking on the back burner now. So it's back here. So it's still got a little bit ways to go. It starts bubbling. Okay, well, looks like we got some bubblage. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. All right, so now is the time we add in our sweetener. Whatever sweetener that is for you, I think I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. <clears throat> Two tablespoons, or just depends on how sweet you want it. Put that back in there. Um, so I'm gonna add a couple. 
the heat here before I add the gelatin. I'm gonna get a different spoon for the dough. Okay, so this is, I'm sure it's melted by now. Turn it off. Take it off the heat. Get your gelatin ready. And then once you add this, you gotta stir it immediately. So we're gonna add just about that much. Okay. It will clump if you don't stir it enough. Get a yucky little clump of gel. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I did blueberries. I've done blueberry jelly and it turns out real good. I just don't know about watermelon, but we're gonna try. I'm just gonna dump it quick. Ooh. And there we have it. Hopefully it will turn out delicious. And we're just gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and let it get Nice and hard. Wipe it off. All right. There we go. That was just sticky. Watermelon jelly. I know it says blueberry jam. Ignore that. This is watermelon. So I'm putting this in the refrigerator. And now I'll show y'all tonight how it turns out, if it turns out. <laughs> I like, uh, we're heading out to do some errands, actually to vacuum out our mom's car. Then, we're not gonna be out long today. I just wanna go back home, cause they gotta go out tonight. And we like to hang out together, maybe play a game. Yeah, or something new. I hope my jelly turns out good. Plus, tonight I'm going to make my chocolate cake for y'all to be perfect. Is it a real cake? Oh, okay. I got to see this. Pete's sake, is it a real cake? What are you doing? I got to go say hi to Sandy. Uh, I haven't been in there all day. Um, brain fart. Oh, I had pancakes this morning. I should have filmed myself making them. It was banana pancakes. Uh, <clears throat> I took half a banana, that's all I had, with oats and uh, an egg. And scrambled that together and then made two of them. I actually burnt it a little bit, but that's okay because I like burnt stuff like that. Not too charred, but it was just enough. And it was really good, actually. Very good. Mm, I don't have any more bananas. I can't make any more tomorrow. Anyway, so that's our plan today. Um, you'll get to see lots of other stuff. I hope I wasn't blurry. Oh, so We're stuck in a bank. Yeah, no one seems to know what to do in a bank. Carrie's driving. Yeah, because we've been here for 10 minutes. I just want to put this one check in there. <laughs> Take my check. Uh, so <laughs> that's what we're doing currently, is sitting in a bank. Um, I hope they're not doing a balance check too. Could you, we're could gonna you go, balance my check and account? We are going to go to Genesis Car Wash to wash Kroger. Mama's car and vacuum it out and then to Kroger to get some sushi for Mother. And then home. And then home. So sit in the office and crochet. Yeah. All good, Liz, she's good. Okay, Just now we're going. Except that would have been us leaving. I know, but still. This one behind's not bad. 
And then I'm gonna make my cake later on today, so stay tuned for a fun recipe and cooking with Sarah. I well, know she's frustrated. And I gotta find out, see how my um, there, watermelon so jelly is doing. Um. I'm ready to film! Ah. I almost touched the wheel. I put my hand on the wheel. Ooh. You'd get in trouble. Liar. Someone spoke too <laughs> soon. Now we come over here. So if we can find a and spot. And we get to vacuum out the car. Oh, right there. How about those over there? Okay. These are all like. So that's what we're doing now. Bye, people. <sighs> yeah, I'd like to start doing. <laughs> I gotta hurry and put on it. There we go. Well, we're back from Kroger and cleaning Mama's car out and everything. And I got another pineapple. You can't get, you can't. And some bars, like this one. And this, this one. Oops, this is. See this, Daddy? And this. That's really good. Look at that. Maple French toast. What? That looks amazing. I hope it's good. Um, Mother's home now, too. There's Carrie. Hello. We're all home. Yay. Daddy's meal. Daddy's meal. Yummy. So Carrie, um, you ever want kids? Only kids that look like this. <laughs> That's our kind of baby. <laughs> yeah. Look at yeah. you. Look at this little chunky pumpy. This little chunky belly. It's a belly. It's I belly. got a belly. <laughs> She's so cute. Beepy, you're adorable. <laughs> you are so sweet. You're my sweet girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Give me that face. Give me that face. <laughs> you giving me some love. Diana's going to have to get her. Cat, stop being a little... What are you doing? Word. Loving on him? Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Diana. <laughs> Kim was like, oh. Not again. Oh, my goodness. Diana, you have no hair on your back. Bald thing. Stop. <laughs> Oh, uh, our dogs. I love her so much. There's a YouTube series right here. <laughs> All <Yeah>. the dogs. <laughs> okay, people, I'm heading out to go get some uh, toilet paper because we need it. We're actually out. Um, and then I'm going to come home and bake a cake. A chocolate cake. I'm so excited because I found a little recipe that seemed easy and it looked good, but we're gonna find out if it actually is easy to make. I hope so, because, oh, I need easy. <laughs> I like easy, simple stuff. This one, this one looks simple and it's a gluten-free cake too, so we'll see. <laughs> Nervous. Okay, so here are the ingredients for the, um, for the cake I'm gonna bake. Baking soda. Cocoa, sweetener, vanilla, milk, an egg back there, Greek yogurt, pans and utensils and everything, and of course, oats. And then later on, for the topping, chocolate. So I'm going to get all this measured out, and we're going to start to bake. How about that? 
do this. Okay, so here we go. I got my bowl of 6.5 ounces of Greek, plain Greek yogurt. That's that. We're gonna add some vanilla. This is optional. You do not have to add vanilla, but it does add some flavor. Vanilla. All right. And to this, we are gonna add our milk. Okay, and that was one third a cup of milk just went in here. Now we're going to mix this together. Now we're going to pop this in the microwave to warm it up. Oops, Ooh. oopsie, for about 45 seconds. Make sure you preheat the oven at 320 degrees Fahrenheit because um, we are going to bake the cake for about 35 minutes on that. Okay, we're back and we're going to give this a little stir and now we're going to add in the cocoa because it's going to help bring out that cocoa flavor. Bring it all on there. Okay, now mix this in. Careful, it will splatter. <laughs> We're gonna add in your sugar. All right, next, you got your egg. Now we got oats. This is um, <clears throat> half a cup of oats. I put them in the grinder and I grinded them up into like a flour. And the baking soda. The baking soda is three fourths a teaspoon. Okay, now. Yeah. Pour it into the mixture. I did grease the pan, it has parchment, it's lined with parchment, but it's also greased, just. For easy exits. Now we're going to bake this 
for um, 35 minutes in 320 degree oven. Pre pre cooked, of course. I mean, preheated. All right. And now while we, while we wait for the cake, it is time to clean. Mm. Okay, we're gonna do a toothpick test on our cake to see um, if it's clean. If it comes out really clean, then it's done. And if it comes out dirty or you know still wet, then it's not done yet, it's still wet. Um, but now, it doesn't have to be exactly perfectly clean. Let's just see what happens. Right in the middle. Uh, it's still a little wet. We have about 10 more minutes anyway. Okay, we got like ten, that. It's longer. And we're just going to go ahead and cancel it because I don't really want to hear it go off. Here we go. I'm going to turn it off. And I think it's done. Look at this, everybody. Looky. Look what I made. Ooh, it's ring. Toothpick test. Here we go. All right. Okay, now we're gonna let that cool before we make an ain of frosting for it. So, I can't wait. This is so good. Okay, so it is cool to the touch and it's spongy. So now we are going to make the frosting. It's just going to be really simple. Just watch. Okay, so to the bowl, we are going to add um, our plain yogurt. One tablespoon of our plain, I got Greek, so plain Greek yogurt. Then we add three tablespoons of your milk, milk of choice, of course. I'm using almond milk. So one, two, three. Now that you've heated up your chocolate, you're going to add it to your milk and yogurt mixture. It took like a minute and 12 seconds, just about. So add as much in as we can. Quite a bit. It's gonna look kind of weird at first, but just keep on stirring.
say good night to Carrie. Good night, Carrie. Good night. See you in the morning. Okay. If you're up, make sure I'm up. Okay. You Please. same thing. Okay. Turn around. Say good night. Oh. What did you think of my cake? It was the first part of it was good. Then it really got tart, and it was hard to eat. So my mouth was like. Oh. The icing was good. Thanks. I like the icing better than the cake. Yeah. And it needs some work, but still, I made a cake. Yes, you did. Good job. Thanks. And just because I used Greek yogurt, it probably should have been plain yogurt. That's what the problem was. It's dark in here. Hello, everybody. And get ready to go to bed. So I gotta do my who knew before I go to bed. Boy, today was a good day off. Nothing beats having two days off, or days your days off in a row. It's like, it's one thing to have like, you have Monday off and then you have a Thursday off. That's nice. But two in a row, that just feels good. It does the heart good. And the soul and the mind. But tomorrow I'll go back to work. Meh, it's all right, because I like work. I mean, my job is good, I like my job. Anyway, let's get on it, shall we? I'm not doing very many. I like to do just like a couple or something. Here we go. X symbolizes kisses because in ancient days when few people knew how to write, they would simply sign an X to show their agreement, then kiss the mark to emphasize their sincerity. Oh, now I know. That's cool. The phrase hanky panky stems from the magi magician's practice of using a handkerchief in one hand to distract the audience from noticing what he is doing with the other hand. Hanky panky. Okay. No word in the English language rhymes with month, orange, silver, or purple. The right. I can't think of anything unless I make up my own word like Rilver or uh, Sorange, Kunt or Sunt, Purple. Hey, those could be real words. Okay, I think that's good for now. I'll leave you on that so you can think about it yourself and see if you can find a word that uh, rhymes with one of those words. Oh, I'm glad that my cake turned out pretty good. It could have been better, yes. Probably needed to use regular yogurt, not Greek. But I wanted Greek. I feel like Greek yogurt. And now I have a whole tub of it left over. Um, but the, the, dress, uh, the dressing, the frosting was pretty good. I'm gonna try it in the morning and see what it tastes like after it sits overnight. I'll probably be having to throw it out pretty soon. Because I don't know if anyone else in my family is going to like it. Because I barely like it. But, you know, I had to try it. I was curious and I did it. And it's fun to try something like that. Well, I guess that means I'll see everyone um, tomorrow. Or see all the kind of weird. Okay, so, well, with that said, good night, everybody. And don't forget the heat.